Jody Holtzman with AARP, and uh, I am in interviewing uh, an incredibly bright star in the entrepreneurship space in health innovation and aging in place technology. Um, so Keon, um, you've had uh, some recent experience that uh, the world needs to know about. So uh, what's, what's bright in uh, Independence future right now? Well, Jody, thanks. That's very kind of you. It's great to be here with you. Um, well, uh, in terms of uh, recent experience or news events, we actually announced our Series A last week, so we're thrilled about that. We have City Hill Ventures as our lead VC, as well as uh, LG uh, Electronics, so we're thrilled. Uh, here we're announcing the generally available product with LG on the TV side, as well as Samsung tablets. And what Independa does, as you know, but for the audience, is uh, we have technologies that help the elderly age in place where they want to be, whether it's their home or in a senior living facility, longer, safer, and more comfortably. And we have, uh, on the one hand, partners, enterprises like insurance companies, senior living facilities, as home care companies, as well as, on the other hand, the circle of care around this individual, leveraging our technologies uh, to benefit their loved ones as well as their members. That's great. So, as you know, uh, the promise yet to be fulfilled with the uh, introduction of greater uses of technology, uh, aging in place, remote monitoring, all these different things. The, the promise that still needs to be proven is a lowering of cost, taking cost out of the system, bending the cost curve as it's referred to, as well as at the same time simultaneously improving the quality of healthcare and improving health outcomes. So when you look at that entire bit there, Let's start with cost. How do you take cost out of the system? Well, the key question there, Jody, is which system? So in my opinion, we have a system that on the health sort of sickness side has its own issues and challenges we all know. Uh, we're wasting a trillion dollars, but that waste is actually other people's profitability. So if we're talking about that cost, that's very difficult to do. I think everybody knows where the costs are. We just have to pay people differently. And someone has to step up to accept that, whether it's political or practical. And that'll happen very naturally if you pay hospitals differently, doctors differently. So people are doing really well in a system that is paying them in a certain way. But if you're talking about a different system, which is a system that we all as consumers, and not as patients, but as persons, live through every day, which is families banding together. You see all the commercials and reverse mortgages, equity lines family savings going to helping their loved ones stay independent longer, safer, more comfortably. That's a system where there's huge amounts of opportunity and people are already spending that money. And they completely dwarf any kind of insurance payment in that market because that's what we call private pay. And that part of the healthcare system that's private pay is in fact where there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of opportunity for cost reduction and anguish reduction. Namely, if you keep somebody where they are one extra month versus the next stage of care, you actually could pay for lifetime use of certain products like ours. And in our mind, by the way, just to make this point, the television is a key component of that. What is the product that everyone uses when they're elderly and particularly uh, alone, probably watching TV many hours a day? What is the number one issue with the elderly? Social isolation and loneliness and depression. It's not falls, it's not I've fallen and I can't get up. Where are the dollars going? Is they're going as a result of the next two or three things that happen after you're depressed and lonely. So why not let that device that's been a transmission device, a broadcast device, that someone is sitting already in front of, there's no training required, revolutionize that and turn it into a medium, a portal, that allows you to communicate and collaborate and be socially engaged. You could be watching Matlock and get, you know, your granddaughter have a video chat request, or you could be watching Price is Right, and you get a medication reminder, you use your standard remote control to dispense that. So we think that's where the cost curve is, in our world anyway, sorry, is to reduce costs where it is out of people's pocket. And, and what's, what's the experience so far? Well, the experience is uh, phenomenal in the sense that um, this lines up very well with industries that are looking to do the same. In other words, insurance companies, if you do not go into an episodic transaction with the healthcare system, they save money, you're happy and your family's happy. So these types of technologies and tools like we're announcing um, are critical to, to get there from a cost perspective even within the system. But, um, and you can only imagine 
if you sit and watch TV all day and you're alone for two weeks at a time, if that TV suddenly becomes the window to the world for you, and, uh, and from your couch you get to open up different worlds, that to me is the experience maybe that you're talking about. So if we're having this conversation a year from now and five years from now, what's different? Great question. I, I would hope that at some point we could actually align payment systems with interests in healthcare in a completely, you know, uh, I, I mentioned align, in a completely sensible way, which is value, as everybody talks about, not volume for our providers and for hospitals not to be essentially hotels with empty beds. And you overlay on top of that ACO structures and and uh, transition care management penalties and so forth. But at the end of the day, the underlying structure should be that if people are away from the healthcare system, then everyone is happiest. And we all know that. But it's not fair for doctors not to get paid if people are away. And so it's that to me is five years down the road. And if and maybe next year would be the actual ad adoption of a tool called the television inside independent living facilities and assisted living facilities that is much more than an appliance that becomes a window from a technology connectivity m health and everything combined that portal to that elderly person as they age in a wonderful way thanks so much what a what a great future let's uh, let's hope it comes to pass thanks so much jody great to be here